fellow diamond painting addicts, and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. Today I have another unboxing and bagging for you from a new to me company called New Craft Day. They contacted me and wanted to know if I would be interested in sharing some of their items with you. So uh, I picked a couple of things for them to send me for review. So again, thank you to them for doing that. And let's just jump in. Um, I ordered a canvas. So let's see, let me move this bag out of the way so we're not staring at that. And let's see what I ordered. Because honestly, my memory is terrible and I don't remember. This is why I keep spreadsheets because if you had to rely on, if I had to rely on my memory, nothing would ever get done because I don't remember anything. Okay, let's see. Oh yes. Let me, let me roll this the other way so I can get it to lay flat because it is kind of stiff. I'm going to need to straighten out the cover sheet. So, oh, so you get a standard kit, boat, plate of wax, pink pen, but the drills come already bagged, so that's nice. Those of you that like to work from baggies, they're already bagged up. That's awesome. And let me show you what I got. It's this cute little floral design. And let me try and make this lay a little bit flatter because it got scrunched a little. Now this is a partial which I liked because I, having done some white backgrounds, no thank you, that is not for me anymore. Um, so you just diamond paint, um, you know, like you would a normal partial. Here you can see, let me peel this back, you can see the little thumbnail, if it will focus. And there's a key right here, you can see, it's got 12 different drills. It is listed as a 30 by 40, so let's measure and see if it actually is 30 by 40. It is 25, I'm gonna guess by 35. Yep, 25 by 35. So, listed as a 30 by 40, it's a 25 by 35, pretty standard for most companies, that five to six um, centimeter difference. And again, it's got 12 colors. You've got one key up here, and then it does have another key down here at the bottom. But I just thought it was a really cute kind of simple design. This would be a nice um, small diamond painting that you could frame and hang up as a piece of decor in your home. This cute little honeybee up here. So let's get into the drills. Okay. So you've got these pretty little gold ones that are part of the flower here. You've got these nice big orange round ones that are the middle of the flowers. You've got some red iridescent uh, marquee shaped ones that are the, some of the petals here. You have some orange teardrop shaped ones that are part of the big petals here. You have some clear round crystal rhinestones. Some purple, these go on the ribbon for that color. You've got some light green and then some Kelly green. There's a kind of orange rhinestone that is petal colors. There's this red and then you've got this kind of uh, orange yellow and then the last one is this kind of true yellow so you get some shading on all of the different flowers and everything so yeah 12 different colors but already in baggies especially when you're talking about a partial that's really nice that they already come in baggies um, I know a lot of people prefer to work that way I don't personally but that's just me I know most people do so yeah, so if you're looking for a, a, you know, an inexpensive kind of piece of home decor, something that you could you know, ha frame and hang up on your wall or gift to someone else so that they could hang it up on their wall, yeah, 
there we go. And again, I will put links to these items in the description below so that you can check them out for yourself. And the other item is again, something that I got because I was trying to get things that were not necessarily uh, diamond painting canvases. So what I have is a little bag. So let's see what you get. You get standard kit, you get the boat, the plate of wax, the diamond painting pen, your drills, we'll look at that in just a minute. And then you get this cute little clutch. And I picked one that has a mandala. And again, it's not, you don't diamond paint the whole thing. Some of it is printed, obviously. Just this section in the middle gets diamond painted. Um, but I actually like that better rather than doing the whole thing. Because when you're talking about items like these, you they get a lot of wear and tear, obviously. And so I can seal it, but not having it all the way around, just make sure that, you know, hopefully you're not knocking off any of those drills during its kind of daily wear and tear. So let's see how many drills we get. It looks like we get eight different color colors of drills. So let's look at those. This pretty pink berry color. That's one of my favorite rhinestones. You get a Kelly green, a blue, and then you get that Kelly green, but in a much larger rhinestone. Ooh, look at those big pink ones. That is number five. So that's what goes in these big circles out here. That's pretty. Some clear white iridescent uh, marquee shaped ones, some red teardrop shaped ones, and then some large red iridescent teardrop shaped ones. So yeah, again, you know, I wanted to try some things uh, and show you some things that were not necessarily kind of traditional canvases. So I picked this out. One of those things that can be kind of a quick project of an evening for you with only eight drills, that one won't take very long. And then again, something that's kind of more, more like a traditional canvas, but still because it's a partial, does not take nearly as long to complete. So a couple of quick projects to share with you. And again, thank you to New Craft Day to sending these for me. Check out the links below if you're interested in these uh, for yourself. And as always guys, before you leave, don't forget to do all the things. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit that bell so that you can be informed of future uploads uh, for videos like these. And thanks for watching guys.